As an addiction medicine physician, I have cared for scores of patients with various substance use disorders, alcohol, cocaine, opioid, tobacco, cannabis use disorder and many others. Several articles about Matthew Perry's death have focused on ketamine, and justifiably so as it was the ultimate cause of the actor's death, drowning also contributed. But what I think is just as important to point out is what was not found in Perry's system. Opioids such as heroin, oxycodone and the highly potent, synthetic fentanyl. Some of you might be thinking, wait, an opioid was found in Perry's system. You would be right, buprenorphine was detected at therapeutic levels. While the medical examiner concluded that buprenorphine might have contributed to Perry's death through respiratory depression, I believe that the high, toxic levels of the powerful anesthetic, ketamine, overrode the low, safe amount of bup. While the exact reason for Perry's use of buprenorphine is not known, we know that the medication has three primary FDA-approved clinical indications. Treatment of opioid use disorder, OOD, detoxification from opioids, and pain management. In the past, Perry disclosed a history of opioid use disorder. Regardless of Perry's reasons, we also know that BUP is highly effective at binding opioid receptors, preventing other opioids like heroin or fentanyl from binding, and thereby reducing the risk of an opioid-related overdose. So, why am I discussing buprenorphine? The primary reason is that BUP is a life-saving medication that is still mostly unknown, both among the public and medical professionals. In fact, I didn't learn about BUP until years after my formal medical training when I attained Addiction Medicine Board certification upon discovering in 2013 that the leading cause of death among my patients, Boston's homeless population, was drug overdose. Because so few people know about BUP, it is both misunderstood and grossly underutilized. We are very much in the midst of a public health crisis. Opioid-related overdose deaths, primarily driven by illicit fentanyl, surged during the COVID pandemic, nearly doubling from 42,000 to 80,000 from 2016 to 2021. In 2022, nearly 110,000 people in the United States died from an overdose, mostly driven by the synthetic opioid, fentanyl. The death toll does not include the multiple collateral consequences including job loss, hospital stays, sick days and criminal justice costs. Tom Arnold, actor, comedian and friend of Perry's, has been outspoken about his long-term recovery from addiction. He recently told me that he has benefited from using buprenorphine. I saw bup help my peers, too, said the former writer for Roseanne. Addiction is different for everyone. The first few days of rehab are the most important because a lot of people want to leave. They worry they'll never feel right. We say they have no intention of using again but our addiction brain has other plans.